Hi everybody. So I have been recording my videos using Zoom for years. Uh, you know, my like landscape videos where I just kind of do some teaching and, and you know, inspiration. Um, and Zoom recently came out with a feature that I love and I'm st really just starting to use, but it's so simple to understand. I wanted to show it to you. It's called Zoom Clips. So usually to record a video, I would just start a new meeting <laughs> with, with nobody else there and I click on the record button. Uh, well, I just show you a quick. Well, I don't have to show you that. I think that's pretty clear. Start a meeting, click record. That's the typical way of recording a a video using Zoom. Um, and the benefit, of course, is that you could do screen sharing using Zoom screen sharing and and you know um, uh, other benefits like virtual backgrounds, that kind of thing. Well, Zoom Clips basically does all of that, except you don't have to start a meeting with yourself. And the benefit is that um, it records. It records you in the highest resolution possible through your Zoom account, and uh, so it's 1080p for mine. And then it also um, removes the timestamp. Like usually when I record my meetings, there's a I I, I want a timestamp there so people know kind of when it happened. But with clips, you don't the timestamp is gone. And also also uh, very importantly, your your name on the bottom left usually when you record on Zoom. I'll just go ahead and show it to you now. I guess. When you record on Zoom, you've got the name on the bottom left that cannot be removed at this time anyway. Well, with Zoom Clips, that name is not there anymore. So let me go ahead and uh, end this meeting, and I'm going to go ahead and show you Zoom Clips. So open up Zoom on your uh, computer. I assume, well, I, I recommend that you download the Zoom app to your computer. Um, anyway, that's how I do it. So I open up the Zoom app, and then I click on More, and then I click Clips. Here we go. And you can see I've already recorded a couple of clips. Um, and it's very simple. You, you know, when you first start out, I think I don't think there's anything here. But very simple. You simply click New Clip. Click here. And you can see it, it's begun. And it, I think it starts off as Screen Share and Video. That's the option on the, on the left-hand side. Or you can just do, um, so it's like, it's assuming that you want to do some kind of tut tutorial on your computer. So sharing your screen already. Or you can just share your screen without showing yourself on video. Now you can see me on video right here because I'm using I'm using a a, um, a software that's recording tutorials. So, but in in the Zoom the middle option it wouldn't have your video at all in there. And then finally you can choose just having you on camera, just like having a Zoom meeting, except with nobody else there and you're recording it. And right now I'm using a virtual background. But you can, oh, a couple things. One is you can change the, the name of your clip so that when, when you're finished recording and you go back to that screen where you show the clips you've recorded, you can more, more easily organize it. So I'm just doing testing zoom clips. Sorry for my bouncing uh, webcam there. Uh, testing zoom clips. Okay, whatever you want to name it is fine. Um, and then you could choose which microphone you want to use, which camera you want to use, uh, and also the resolution. So I'm able to do 1080p, um, so you know I recommend obviously choosing the highest resolution that you can. 1080p is is going to be uh, well well enough for any kind of online video, um, unless you're like a real pro and want to go 4K or whatever. If if that's available on your account, it's not available online. But anyway, so and then you have advanced settings. So let's click here and see. You've got virtual background, so you know you can you can do no virtual background and uh, you see my. It's pointing right. My my dog is right there with with my dog's head right there. <laughs> anyway, uh, you can blur your background. Anyway, so all these zoom. Uh, some of these are are my own images, um, but uh, anyway. So that's 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 the backgrounds available. You can use avatars and make yourself look silly like a dog. You know, dog talking. So this is this is one of the reasons why people use Zoom meetings to record so they can they can have features like this. Um, let's see here. And then, um, uh, that's, that's it for, oh, click back, click back to see what other advanced settings there are. I don't know why layout and wallpaper are not available. Okay. You can touch up your, your, your skin, the fewer wrinkles and what, whatnot, <laughs> um, adjust for low light auto anyway. So these settings are also available when you go into zoom meeting, right? And so it's, it's really a similar thing. Same thing, noise suppression, stereo audio. I don't know really what that is. I haven't research that one but they they the advanced setting here is simpler 
than using Zoom meeting where the set there's a lot more settings. So I kind of like that they simplified things here. Just do the most popular things. Noise suppression is a good idea if you if you if you if you uh, are recording where someone might make some sound somewhere in your home, uh, or if you have a dog who might bark or a cat who might meow. This noise suppression is very helpful. And then once you have the settings all done, you can collapse the settings menu, advanced settings menu, and you just click on start recording. Let's go ahead and I'll go ahead and show you. Three, two, one. So it counts down. So that's really nice too, because you know how in regular Zoom meeting it doesn't count down when you press start record. So that's that's nice. And once you start recording, you can still share your screen. And this should look familiar. This is the same kind of thing. Um, as uh, it's actually more basic. I think in Zoom meeting there are more screen sharing options. So, but it's it's good enough. I think it's it's what most of us need anyway. Um, so, and then you could share your computer sound if you wanted to share your screen with a video and you want to, you want your viewer to be able to hear what the video is doing. You share computer sound, and also if you're sharing your video, if you're sharing video, making a recording, and you're sharing some kind of YouTube clip or something. You should turn on high frame screen recording. It it uses more of your computer resources, but the but the result ends up looking better. So um, and then for example, uh, anyway, I, let's say portion of screen. Click select. And now I'm sharing that portion of my screen. It doesn't matter. When you're finished um, screen sharing, you simply click on stop share. And then uh, oh, there's annotation too. When you're screen sharing, you could click annotation to draw things on the screen if you want to. And if you don't like the, the, the current clip you're, you're recording, you can click cancel to stop it. Or you can click finish to finish saving the recording. I'll go ahead and click finish right now to show you what that looks like. Um, so there it is. There's my clip that I just recorded. And it's amazing because you can, again, you can change the title here. Change. This is almost like YouTube because you can simply click share. And basically uh, anyone with a link or anyone in my Zoom organizational account or only people that I specifically invite. So it's really similar to, to uh, it's similar to YouTube, but except it's not, it's not a public thing. It's not somehow Zoom is p promoting your video out there. It's really more like YouTube unlisted or YouTube private. So you can share this link without having to upload it to YouTube or upload it elsewhere. Someone, whoever has this link can instantly watch this, or you can, amazing, you can also embed this on, on a web page. Now, one thing that I have not, you can click more settings here. I have not looked at that. Oh, pass, Pascal protection. That's pretty cool. One thing that I haven't really looked, looked into is where are they hosting this video? If I were to, you know, keep this video and share the link, I think it's using your Zoom. I imagine they're using your Zoom cloud storage. So you might want to be aware of, of this. Um, I, I tend to host my videos on YouTube because, well, um, that's where most of my videos are, and it has good analytics. Um, but also, it's free to do so. If you if you use Zoom to host your video and share it with other people and have them watch it here on Zoom, I'm guessing at some point before long, Zoom is going to warn you that your cloud storage is running out, and you should buy more cloud storage. So just be be careful that I would just recommend what what to do instead. I recommend downloading the file and then uploading it to, for example, YouTube, which is free hosting, right? Um, let's see what else can we do. You can add to playlist. Again, Zoom wants you to use their cloud storage because they're going to start charging you more and more for it. So yeah, like I said, you could download the file. Um, by the way, if you record a longer video, I did that earlier today, uh, you're going to have to wait probably 15 minutes before you can click on the download clip. And the other, the other tip I realized is once I click the download clip, it, um, it asks me where I want to download it. I click save on the desktop, for example. Give it like two, three minutes at least. Uh, I, I would say three minutes is fine, but give it like three minutes to finish. Well, it doesn't even take three minutes usually. It usually takes you know um, something like you know fifteen seconds or something. But it takes it when, when after I click download, I immediately went to look at the file size, and when I did it like within ten seconds of of clicking this download button and I opened up the file size, it was not. It was a small file size. And then later, like a minute later, I, I opened it up again to look at the file size, and it was much larger. I mean, right now, it's our, this, was, this was a small video, so the file size is small. Anyway, I'm just saying, after you click download, just give it like two or three minutes before you upload the file to YouTube or whatever, because it's still, even though it looks like the file's already here, it's still kind of adding, it's still making the, 
the bigger resolution uh, file. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. If you have any other, t and, and one more thing I should show you is once you're finished using clips, of course, you can just click on home to return to the familiar Zoom home screen. And remember clips is out here in, 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 in clips. I think there's a way actually, let me see. Oh yeah, there is. Okay. I just, I want to show you. I, I didn't know, I didn't know this until this moment. You know, Clips is hidden under more, but if you're going to use it often, which I will, I don't really use any of these things uh, at all except for meetings. Um, but I'm going to click and click, you know, go into more, click and drag Clips, click and drag it. And there it is. So now in the future, I can just click Clips here to easily get there. So anyway, I hope this is helpful. And let me know if you have any other tips for other people who are using Zoom Clips. Feel free to comment below. Thanks a lot.